Welcome back, friends. A busy day for Skywatch Weather School. We made the two-hour trek to the east, traveling to Williamsburg County and Hemingway, South Carolina, to visit the second graders at Hemingway Elementary School this morning. You can see the fine group of students here and a wonderful group they were. Questions prepared, everything from hurricanes to winter weather, the difference between hail and sleet, and of course, how can we get ice, which is hail, in those hot summer months. And uh, of course, you need it to be cold to get sleep. We also talked about some of the magic that we have here in TV. So thank you very much to the second grade class at Hemingway Elementary School over in Williamsburg County for inviting me out today. Look forward to heading back there in the future and talking with the students out there. A wonderful time today. It's as simple as an email, friends. hrothenberg at wach.com. Schools, civic groups, we just love talking weather, and we would love to come out and have these conversations with your group. Why don't you and I talk some weather right now? Beautiful weather at that. Spring fever weather. 40s and 50s out there, light wind flow predominantly from the south in most locations. We have a south-southeasterly flow, due south in Pillion, west-southwesterly flow in Irmo, and Rembert, the odd man out here with that easterly flow last reported. Currently a calm wind there with a temperature of 45 degrees. Let's take a look across the region where these temperatures are in the 50s. Again, a few 40s mixed in there as well, especially where we have the blue shades and some of the higher elevations, 51 in Asheville. Now, let's go through the overnight hours. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, meteorologist Lauren Oleski could talk about a little bit of uh, patchy fog, but uh, all in all, should be a nice day. We'll have a few midday clouds here and there, but quite a bit of sunshine tomorrow. Next, weather makers well to the west, so really we don't have a whole lot to show you over the next 24 hours other than uh, what should be a relatively nice day. 43 tonight, not too far off that normal of 41. Tomorrow, 77 degrees. Average high, 66. Spring fever, just remember to load up on the allergy medicine, right? Because that pollen is definitely starting to fire up. Seeing everything from cherry blossoms starting to bloom across parts of the Midlands to all kinds of flowers and leaves and things on trees, which means the pollen count is going to start to increase as well. Next three days, 70s to 80, and then we've got rain chances. And behind those rain chances, cooler temperatures back into the mid-70s. Hey, you're going to hate me by Friday because you're going to be sick of me saying this, but you know what you need to do before you go to bed oh, Saturday night? Oh, man. We've got to change the clocks. Change the clock. Yep, an no hour way. ahead. We spring forward. We say, welcome back, daylight savings time. And while you're at it, you should check the batteries. I was going to say that. If you have a carbon monoxide detector, do that. And if you're afraid to get on a stool or a ladder and do that, our friends at the Columbia Fire Department are the always to happy come to out. come out yeah. there and help you and make sure you've done it properly. And if you don't have one, they'll even install it for you. Good so, look at that. Thank you. Well, Spring always got great forward. information. <laughs> Spring and forward. It, it certainly feels like it, too. Indeed it does. Oh, yeah. All right. Hopefully, uh, Corey Miller's probably got some good news coming up, I would think. Fingers crossed. Sports, basketball, good times. <laughs>